whole like look is very official. Um, hello friends. I am going down an emotional uh, spiral, an emotional rabbit hole, and uh, it seemed only appropriate that I drag you into it. So um, welcome. I, so okay back it up. I was thinking about what kind of video I wanted to do for today and kind of like setting up the next couple of weeks of video content. And oh yeah, do you want to hear about this emotional spiral? I hear about it every day. <laughs> so basically I was like, oh, maybe I'll do some thrifting because I haven't gone in store to thrift. And then I started going on a Pinterest kind of like rabbit hole looking up like what kind of clothing items I wanted to look for because I get overwhelmed when I go to the thing. This is all to say I fell into this trap of dressing for your age and then I fell down this rabbit hole of am I living an age appropriate lifestyle? And then I fell down this Twitter like rant that someone had reposted on Instagram because that's the kind of old lady I am. I only am on Instagram so I see all the TikToks and the Twitters via Instagram. Um, so maybe I am living an age appropriate lifestyle. Um, but it was all about how like our generation um, talks about how old we feel. Um, and so this kind of just set me off on this spiral of like what what is age? <laughs> And then am I living an age appropriate lifestyle as I put my hair into two little buns? I told a story uh, in my story time. If you watch my fold and told ya about my life, um, I did like a horror dating stories, like a uh, story time, which is really fun if you are interested. I'll leave the link above and below. Uh, but there was a point in time where I was dating this dude who kept telling me that I was living. Or, or I wasn't living an age appropriate lifestyle because I would go to bed really early. Very bizarre. Um, so anyways, <laughs> I thought it would be fun to take a quiz to see if I am in fact living uh, an age appropriate lifestyle and also maybe review a few of the things that you should and shouldn't do uh, in terms of dressing for your age because I'm about to be 40. <laughs> well, Jeff's turning 40 far before me, but then I'm turning 40 uh, in April of next year. So let me just like review this thing that I saw on Instagram for you guys just quickly so you get the context of this mental breakdown. Um, I actually like feel great about my age, but there are some like, I guess like um, not landmark, but there's like some big like life things that you feel like you're supposed to do or at least when we were growing up we were like, okay, you're supposed to like graduate high school, then you graduate college and like all these like then you get married, then you buy a house, da 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 and like I don't know, I, I am married now, but I did it so late and like I haven't bought a house, but I bought a condo before I met Jeff. You know what I mean? Like I feel like nowadays everything is like kind of out the window in terms of what you're supposed to do, which I love, but it's funny to kind of dive in. Okay, so I am rambling and I am talking fast, but I am excited to share this with you. So someone said people in their 30s need to stop complaining about how old they're getting and you aren't getting old, but your depressing outlook sure as hell is. And then this person goes on to like do this rant off of that original tweet and I'll try to leave the links for this. Um, I found this via I am 30 AF, which is a great Instagram uh, site. They do a lot of meme stuff. So, so actually, I want to talk about this for a second regarding millennials and how really gosh darn difficult it is for us to make sense of our own age sometimes. Then this person goes on to like say, I strongly suspect that a significant percentage of us are struggling with the fact that many of the benchmarks, that's what I'm looking for, for different stages of adulthood that we grew up with no longer apply to us and it's causing us to feel uh, unmoored. Adults are supposed to be getting married, a lot of us aren't getting married, they're supposed to have kids, a lot of us aren't doing that, they're supposed to get past college and get a real job and a lot of us aren't doing that and this goes on and on and on. Um, Anyways, I found this to be like a kind of just an interesting thread. Again, I'll leave it down below and I'm interested to hear your takes on all of this. Oh, I will also, um, am I offended by all of this? First and foremost, I am slightly offended by, I'm not offended by that. I actually find that to be uh, very insightful and helpful um, as I try to like navigate uh, 
entering into my 40s in next year. I know I have some time, but it's still like definitely on the forefront of my mind. Um, but what I am offended about is the how you're supposed to dress thing, which we will get to in a second. But I am thinking back to when I started YouTube and when I was a little bit more wrapped up into the community in terms of like having a lot of friends on YouTube and this and that. Obviously times have changed and people have moved on and uh, gotten real jobs. <laughs> real jobs or have expanded their brand into something else and this is that but I remember like having a conversation and I it like rings true in my head um someone specifically being like oh my god if I like if I like am still doing YouTube when I'm 30 like blah like you know just like f that that's terrible okay so don't think that doesn't like ring through my head as I'm entering into my 40th year next year okay so that I am offended by also, and it kind of like runs through my head often. This is a jumble of thought. Thank you, you've just entered into my word vomit. So let's play a little game. I'll screen share with you all. I'm having trouble finding an actual like, are you living an age appropriate lifestyle? But there's a lot of like, based on the things you've done, let us guess how old you are. And I think that is hysterical. So let's do it. Okay, this is what I'm thinking I want to play. Can we guess your age based on your life skills? <laughs> what? Laugh at you. Okay. Because you're simultaneously five and a hundred. I know. That's see, I'm confused. So I dress like a five-year-old, but I go to bed like a hundred-year-old. Okay. Can you tie a tie or would you need an extra set of hands? It's question number one. Why would I wear a tie? Of course. Every day when I go to work, if I had to for a job interview, maybe. I'm going with that. Like, if I had to, I could figure it out. That's a no. <laughs> Do you know how to start a fire without a match? Does <laughs> using a lighter count? No. Yes, I learned it in Scouts. I've done it twice did. this week. Not a chance. Oh, God. I think does use a lighter count? Like, I do the fireplace. Yes, fireplace! <laughs> Can you remove the SIM card from your phone without watching a tutorial? Yes, yes, I can. With a little effort, yes. <laughs> um, do you know how to write in cursive or is printing more your style? Um, duh, I do. I grew up in the 80s. You learn cursive. Do you guys still learn cursive now? Uh, yes, and quickly too. Okay. Um, do you... Can you drive a stick shift without stalling the vehicle out? No, I cannot. I tried to learn, but no. One time, true story, uh, old boyfriend of mine, I went to meet his parents, and for some reason, it was like a rite of passage to like drive a car with his dad and like learn how to do stick shift, and I like failed in that relationship also. Um, do you know how to leave a review, post or positive or negative? Uh, yes! I read them when I'm buying, always. I also really appreciate um, when people leave reviews, um, not just comments down below, but uh, I was telling Jeff like on our honeymoon, I there's several places that I want to leave a review for. I just haven't had time yet. Uh, is that an old lady thing? Whatever. Do you know how to send a snap or would you need someone to show you? I don't have Snapchat, but I feel like I can figure it out. Um, I've outgrown that. <laughs> Can you change your own oil or do you prefer to pay someone? Pay someone, pay someone. I'd rather pay someone. Is this an age thing or just like a preference thing? Can you change a channel without a remote or would you be stuck on the same channel forever? Okay, I was reading the answers and I was doing one of the answers, which is a blank stare. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what- You don't even change the channel with your own remote. <laughs> she just takes the remote and goes, mm, and it's gives true. it to me. That is true. Do you know what a card catalog is and where you might find one? That I do. I'm all proud. I was required learning in school. Can you stream music through your car's audio without asking for help? Yes, I can. I just have to plug, <laughs> plug it in. Um, can you go to the bank or do you know how to deposit a check from home? I only do mobile, mobile deposits now. What a gift. Took me a while though. Not to like figure out how to do it, but to trust it. If you know, you know. Uh, if you absolutely had to make a call, would you know how to dial a rotary phone? Rotary phone. <laughs> I can't say it, but I do know it. Yes, I do remember it well. Big job interview coming up. Could you sew a button on your favorite shirt? I can. 
I don't want to, but I can. And it might not be the best, but I seem to remember learning how to do that. Yeah. If you were lost, could you read a roadmap to get to your destination? If you guys saw um, my story time about being a birthday party princess, we used to have like the Thomas Guide maps in our car. If again, you know, then you are old too. Um, do you know how to compose or respond to a tweet? Ugh, yes, but I prefer not to. Hate that place only if I have to, which I don't. You don't have to do anything and you can say no to social media if you want any platform and I say no to Twitter, it sucks. Sorry. <laughs> now I am offended. I'm offended deeply by all things Twitter. How often do you change your bed sheets? Um, I would say like as my schedule allows, but I'm gonna say frequently, once a week. Can you build a budget and then use it to guide your financial decisions? <laughs> Pass. Now I really am offended. Um, I can, but I don't like it. Do you know how to check interest rates and refinance a mortgage? I do, but it gives me so much stress. <sighs> Think back to your school days. Have you ever covered a textbook in a brown paper bag? Yes. All right, now I really do feel like I'm aging myself. Also, please know like all the ads on this page. It's absolutely absurd. Have you ever made a mixtape for yourself or someone else? Jeff, a mixtape! It's asking about a mixtape. Remember I just asked you to make me one? Oh yeah, yeah. I still think I have some in the attic. I don't have an attic, but you get it. Do you know how to set a traditional alarm clock or is a phone alarm more your speed? I mean, I use my phone for my alarm, but I do know how to do an alarm clock. Did it for years. Have you ever ironed a shirt for an important event? Um, I'm gonna say I think that's what a dryer is for. I actually use a steamer. This is a really long quiz. It's Wednesday and you're thinking about a date for the weekend. Where would you look first? Probably at a club. Nope. I have a ton of uh, dating apps. Used to. I'm interested in someone at work. B b b at my house, I guess so. <laughs> Jeff is the one person at work. Uh, no thanks, I'm married. You're in a taxi headed to the airport. Do you know how to check in for your flight online? Yes! I'm the master at that. Um... Click on this, then that, and done. It's Monday morning, you need coffee, amen. Which of these methods would you prefer to use to make it? Uh, a percolator. Oh, on the stove. Remember I was just talking about this. When was I talking about this? Oh, yesterday, and I left a link for a great percolator, but not a percolator on the stove. Um, so I'm going for this, an old fashioned coffee pot. Do you know how to ride a boogie board? Yes. Boogie board? A boogie board. A boogie board is in the water, right? What's a boogie board? Boogie board's in the water, right? But what, they're making me feel like it's something on the street, like an updated book. Can you cook a decent meal that doesn't require the use of a microwave? No, fat chance. Have you ever gone through a loan application process? Yes, and it's the worst thing that I've ever done. So stressful, don't, don't buy anything. Um, you've just finished eating out. Can you calculate how to live, leave, leave a tip? Yes, yes I can. Oh my God, here's my answer. Jeff, how old do you think I am? I'd like to on this. Okay, do you want to see the answer? No, I'd like to guess. Okay, guess, don't look. Hello. First of all, I think one of the questions should be, how old are you if you're taking BuzzFeed quizzes on <laughs> YouTube? It's not even BuzzFeed, it's like how- That's kind of an indicator. <laughs> um, I have often said that Lisa Schwartz is a complicated, chronological unicorn in that you have the attitude of a five-year-old, but the physical uh, energy of a hundred-year-old, but the body of a 20-year-old. Ooh, good Ooh. save, good save. Uh, your age is 63. 52. Ooh. You've learned some things along the way and had lots of experiences with life that made you well-rounded individual. You possess some of the tech savvy of the younger generations, but have a fond appreciation for the skills taught to you by parents and grandparents. Pass some of that knowledge down. You know what? 
not offended by this. In fact, I kind of love that. So there you go. I will save this test in case anyone wants to take this silly test. So now I'm not gonna dive like fully into this because I actually think I'd prefer to do a full video about it, but let me just show you a few things of how to dress for your age. 40 best tips for dressing well in your 40s. Skip the cargo shorts, cargo anything. I think that's just kind of in general, a good idea. Avoid the matchy-matchy and embrace separates. You know what? I read that on several websites earlier when I was looking through and I disagree with that. Now, matchy-matchy maybe in this form, I understand, but um, right now, doing like matchy, like, like sexy suits, you know what I mean? Like a little bit oversized, like bright, bold, matchy-matchy is good. But this is for men. You gotta be crisp with no holes, stains, or shreds. I mean, I feel like that's kind of generally. Skip out on super cheap fabrics. I disagree with this. Pass on the Canadian tuxedo. This is listed for a man, but honestly, I love a Canadian tuxedo for men and women, and I totally disagree with this, and here I am being offended again. Um, balance proportions. I feel like that's just generally speaking. Hang up your sports jersey, generally speaking. Uh, Daisy Dukes and micro mini skirts. I mean, I never so love that anyways, but like if you have a hot bod, go for it. Never wear shiny black shoes with denim. I disagree with that. Ripped and shredded denim should be left behind. Like I agree, like this look right here ain't cute anyways, but like I, love some of my shredded denim and I refuse to put them away. Um, oh my god, yes. It's basically saying like spend money and don't look cheap, which like kind of like uh, uh, screw you. <laughs> um, jewelry must be kept simple, minimal, and personal. I mean, I kind of, I guess, like that, but I like the personal part, but the other parts, no. Play with low, high styling. Skip anything. <laughs> these pictures. That's from a costume for sure. Wear hem skirts just to or above the knee. No, I disagree with that. I'm a short girl and that length does not look good on me, either longer or shorter. Sorry, I work hard for these legs. I am not doing that. Ugh. Invest in, in quality sunglasses. Get loafers, I'm okay with that. Get fitted for bras, embrace suits with mixed patterns. Ugh, this is all, st embrace lash extensions. This is wild. I agree with this, only purchase things that make you feel comfortable. Invest in your actual closet, splurge. Literally, they're just saying like spend money as the ads are running all over. Okay, I'm over this. You know, I'm not exactly sure where I was going with this other than I wanted to spew out my feelings um, as these things kind of come across my phone or computer and just generally get your uh, thoughts and opinions on like age appropriate things, including fashion, obviously, since we do a lot of that on this channel, but just also like lifestyle. Um, I'd be interested to hear your opinions. And if you want me to do a video, you know what would be interesting? is to do a 30s versus 40s sort of dress for your 30s versus 40s. Since I'm on the cusp right now, maybe I can look into that. If you guys have any websites or like even Pinterest, like boards or people to follow on there that will help me kind of navigate through this and sort of cultivate uh, a proper video with a little bit more insight, that would be awesome. Let me know in the comments below. And um, thank you for going on this emotional <laughs> spiral of offensiveness, um, but also I think there's something positive here, which is as long as you are wearing stuff that makes you comfortable and you're doing things that make you happy, it shouldn't matter if it's within your age range, you know? Just be good and uh, have some fun. All right, y'all, I will see you tomorrow for a story time. Stay tuned.